Good morning friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I would just take you along with me for the day. I know a lot of you enjoy these types of videos and I do as well. Uh, I have kind of a little bit of everything planned for today. It's kind of a crazy day. It's exciting though, exciting stuff for sure. So the very first thing I'm going to be heading to do here shortly is to select countertops for our new house, which I will try to get a few clips if I can and share with you what we end up picking out. And I also thought since I'm doing that, I would share with you some of the other finishes that I've selected for the new house as well. So we'll sit down, have a little bit of a chit chat. You know, the house, we're kind of at a weird part in the year. So we have brutal winters here. So right now they're really trying to focus on the exterior of the house, making sure everything's good to go so I can pour the driveway. So in January, when it's 20 below, we are able <laughs> To move in so they've been working a lot on the outside and not so much on the inside at this point however they are kind of moving back inside to start framing out all of the rooms which is what i've been waiting for to share a home tour or kind of walk through with you so with any luck within the next i'd say week and a half two weeks i will finally be able to get in there and take you around and walk room by room and talk about kind of what the layout is and that sort of thing so that's going to be happening. We are also getting electricity down at our little shack or shed today. It's already wired for it. It just hasn't been turned on since we purchased it. And they're turning it on today. So I wanna head down there and just make sure the light is off and that everything is working properly. So I'm going to do that. And what else do we have going on? Oh. I've also been cleaning out our freezer lately and I have a bunch of chicken that I'd like to use. So I'm actually going to be trying a new homemade chicken noodle soup recipe in the crock pot today. So I'll share that with you as well. Charlie has his spa day tomorrow. Are you ready? You could get a bath, haircut. He does not care to go to the groomer, but you're gonna look so much better. Yeah? Ready to go. I have all my flooring samples here in the car with me. I'm probably gonna look like a crazy person walking in as I do it. But of all the finishes and things that I've already picked out for the house, I've done a really good job of staying in the allowance amount that we have, or even coming under in a lot of cases. However, I feel like countertops, I might, this might be my <laughs> splurge item. I'm not quite sure yet. I have to get pricing on it all. I'm definitely looking at quartz countertops for the kitchen, as well as we have a basement bar area and probably in the master bathroom as well but that leaves like the kids bathrooms and we have a little bar top like countertop area or seating area where we'll need a counter for our theater room I don't know I'll show you when we do the walkthrough of what I'm all thinking about but there's definitely some areas where I'm not sure if we want to splurge on the cords or do like an onyx or something a little bit cheaper oh and the laundry room countertop too so yeah we're gonna it could be a long little appointment as I get pricing on everything um, I've done a ton of research online on quartz so I kind of know what I'm looking for and the quality and things like that so oh my goodness wish me luck <laughs>
I made it back home about an hour and a half later and my head is spinning. It almost feels like mush at this point because there's so many different options for countertops these days. And even if you break it down and say you want to do quartz, there's like six different companies and then they each have their own patterns and colors. And so, yeah, I think we made it through though. He's going to put together a quote for me and I did bring home the samples. I have them all laid out on the table. So I'm going to share that with you here a little bit later today. I want to research them a little bit more tonight as well, <clears throat> just so I can see maybe some more in real life pictures before I make my final decision. Anyways, I need to get my crock pot meal going because it is like 1040 right now. I think I want to have it on low for like six or seven hours, maybe even eight. So I need to get it going. This is a recipe I found online. I will make sure to link it down below. Usually I forget to add the liner to the crock pot, but I remembered. So we're off to a good start here. Now I actually picked up this crock pot yesterday from Walmart. I've been stocking our Walmart for one for a while, almost since last winter. And they finally had it and I had some gift cards, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It was the last one. But as part of the Drew Barrymore Beautiful line of small appliances, I think she has like knife sets there as well. And so I'm excited to use it. The reviews are okay on it. I love the size. I think I have a four and a half quart. This is an eight, so much bigger. Perfect for those like larger soups and stews for the fall and winter. Uh, what some of the reviews said that the words come off on the knob when you turn it on and off. So I'm just going to be super careful not to touch those when I turn it on, but I'm just gonna follow the recipe. Soup is officially cooking now. A little bit later in the day, I'll need to add in the egg noodles and shred up the chicken, but we have a while until that it needs to happen. But I know my future self is going to thank me. We have flag football, or Madden has flag football tonight, and that's always right over the dinner hour, 5.30 to 6.30. By the time we get home, it's too late to start cooking, so it'll be really nice to just have it ready to go. It's also been in like 60s, and it's actually really windy today, so we're gonna come home, I have a feeling, just like chilled. This warm soup will be perfect. So anyways, before I move on with the rest of today's video, I wanted to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video, but they are offering a chance to win 
a $130,000 valued tiny home. How fun is that? From True Forb Tiny, all while supporting a great cause, the National Park Foundation. Omaze was launched with a mission to transform the typical charitable giving. They give people the chance to dream big and win these amazing once in a lifetime prizes, all while helping nonprofits make our world a better place. But how fun would it be to design and own one of these tiny homes? I just can't get over it. I think I'd have to place it on a lake somewhere as a retreat for all of our family to use. But I absolutely love the idea that these donations support the National Park Foundation as well. They really work at protecting the wildlife, park lands, preserving the history, and also educating our youth. For a chance to win the custom $130,000 tiny home from True Form Tiny, all you need to do is go to the link down below in the description box, omaze.com slash crystalterra to get entered. Remember, it also helps support the National Park Foundation. So I just got back, took Charlie on our like lunchtime walk it's our routine we'll just walk around the block come back he was ready for it i also ate lunch and did a little bit of research on the countertops i still have more to do you know i went into the store with a certain brand in mind and i had a few ideas didn't end up going with that brand it was going to be i i mean pretty high out of our allowance and budget and i'm trying to squeeze in as many rooms as i can with quartz if I can. So I'm just waiting here on pricing. Some of these things will probably change, but I can share with you the ones that I've picked up as of now, which has been kind of hard for me because I'll share something with you. Like months ago, I shared with you a few things that we had selected and they changed. They changed. So uh, these countertops, some of them definitely will change. I, <laughs> it's a process. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, this could literally turn into like a three hour video where I explain everything in my reasoning, but we don't wanna do that, do we? I'll just wait until we gotta get to that point into the home building process and share that with you. But I do have my flooring here, I can show with you that. That is not going to change anymore. That has been ordered and is here and ready to go. And then I can share with you the countertops that I was, um, well I am looking at and researching a little bit more. I don't feel like the natural lighting is really doing this justice, but you get the point. So here's our flooring, kitchen, and then kitchen countertops. This is what I ended up going with, which kind of surprised me. This was not the one that I had like thought I was going to like, but I love how it does have some veining, but not too overwhelming. It's called Montauk by, I think you say it, Hanstone? I don't even know. And then I'm gonna, Try to flip this over gracefully, but it's very heavy. I don't want to scratch anything. There we go. And on the back, it shows you what the full slab looks like. So there's definitely a little pattern to it, but it's not too much. So also in the kitchen, we did white cabinets on the outside. And then for our island, we're actually doing a stained Naughty Alder in the onyx color. So it's kind of like a black, but it's a stained black, not a painted black. And we held this up or we placed this next to those cabinet colors and it looked really good with both of them. So 95% sure. There's always that little percent that I might change my mind between now and when I need to actually make the final decision. Now, the one I'm not sure on is the other one that I picked out for the bathrooms, but it just it looked really nice with the flooring I had picked out, so let me show you that one. Without giving too many details, this is what I've been looking at. So that's the kid's bathroom, it's like a vinyl tile. This is the master bathroom floor, it's a ceramic kind of a little bit busier, right? So then because of that, I chose this more simpler quartz and it has, it pulls some of that beige out of this flooring. I don't know, it just looks really nice together. So I'm still not 100% sold on this one, but it was one of my top contenders. I also brought home this, ooh, you can't really see it, this sample right here. This I picked up for our basement. And because so we have a basement bar area, the cabinets down there are actually going to be that same like naughty alder stained onyx color, the black, kind of moody, I guess. 
And so this one, kind of that brighter white, but it has some gray veining in it. And this was a cheaper option. I guess it's, I can't remember what he said. What did he say it was? Oh, I can't remember, but it's already, it's like a, but yeah, I don't even know, but that one was a little bit cheaper. So I think what I'm going to do is just wait till I get the number from him before I like dig too deep into researching countertops and things like that. You know, certain things I'll get in the store and I'll see it. I'm like, yep, that's the one I like. And then I get it home and I look at it or I look online. I'm like, are you sure, Crystal? Like, is that really the one you can live with for the rest of your life? And then I just second guess myself. I research, I lose sleep, I second guess myself more, and then I make a choice. And then I think my hesitation with sharing a lot of this lately on my channel has been that I'll finally come to a decision and feel good about it, and then I'll share it, and then I'll hear from people like, ooh, that was a bad choice, or I would have done this one instead, and then like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's a mind game, <laughs> it really is, so. Yeah, I'll I'll continue to share things, but I think I'm I'm going to wait until things start happening and getting installed in the house to share it with you. So there's going to be a lot more coming than there has been in the past now that things are finally happening. <music> out at the shack right now just to make sure the electricity did in fact get turned on. I know you were on the edge of your seats if we had electricity and it is hooked up so that's good. We have a light in there and outlets if we need to plug in things which there have been a couple of occasions where we have thought we needed it and it just wasn't hooked up so that's really nice we've talked about getting like a water supply down here but you don't really care about that do you anyways I was just about to back out. A truck pulled up with a, I think it was a bathtub or it could have been a shower. I'm not quite sure which one it was. So I might venture up front and see. But yeah, things are coming together. It's so crazy. The house, I will say, with the windows, it looks amazing. I love the windows. We did black windows, but it looks massive. Like this house looks big and it looks way bigger than it did like in the picture when we were designing it so that's been a little bit overwhelming but yeah we're definitely thankful and cannot wait if you can't tell The soup was a big hit. I'm actually not a big chicken noodle soup lover, but this was really good. And so plenty of leftovers. I wanted to give a shout out to these noodles. I think that these helped out as well. I just found these in the pasta section at Walmart and they were pretty amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna get these in the refrigerator. And then we need to head to pick up Macy from gymnastics. I am on my own tonight as far as parenting goes. My husband left today for San Antonio for business things for the next couple of days. So we're gonna go grab her and then that is going to be it for today. I have lots of research to do tonight on countertops and whatever else I decide to start searching, I'll just kind of go down that hole later. And yeah, that's going to be it. But don't forget to check out that link down below in the description box to enter in to that giveaway for the tiny house. Super fun idea, I love it so much. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.